Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and in today's video, I'm gonna scoot over. <laughs> um, in today's video, don't mind my hair. I didn't really feel like doing anything. I just put my headband on it and brushed it. Um, anyway, so in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new and the long wait of, hold on, let me get the box, the new, chocolate hold on chocolate factory foodie box from glam light and i am very excited to play with this i have not swatched it or anything yet so this is going to be a full first impressions video unboxing swatching all that good stuff so if you guys want to see what everything looks like and a little tutorial of some of the stuff then keep watching so I immediately saw her reveal this on, I think it was Instagram, and I really liked the last foodie box she did that I got, the holiday one, and I loved how many products you obviously got for, what was it, like $40, something like that, and so I wanted to pick this one up, because, you know, why not, and I also really love her formula for her palettes. Um, I had tried Glam Light products before, I think maybe last year, her, um, older palettes, wasn't her foodie collection, it was her other palettes, and I liked the formula, I liked the consistency, I liked how easily they blended, so for me to jump from there to the first palette I actually got that I tried of her foodie collection was her ice cream palette and I loved it. It was absolutely stunning. The colors are gorgeous, super vibrant, easy to blend. So here we are. I'll stop rambling on. Let's get into the video. So I believe there's six products here. What I really liked is this is what I thought was super, super cute. This reminded me literally of a chocolate factory, like the actual like Charlie the Chocolate Factory movie and I don't know if it was inspired by that or not but I definitely get those vibes and I definitely thought it was really cute and it was a super cute collection and I'm so excited to try everything. So it says Golden Ticket Holiday 2020. So yeah this was another holiday box she did. Admits One Foodie. Glam Light Chocolate Factory, like the thought and everything put into like her entire collection, like, you know, anything that she puts out, it's always thoroughly thought and well presented and well done. And that's what I really like about her. Along with, she supports small artists, like literally she's always on Twitter. She's always very responsive to her fans and even small creators. And so that's another reason why I really, really like her. And I definitely want to support more people that have brands that support small creators. So I've really gotten into Glam Light this year, really, really, really. And I'm very happy and I'm very excited to see what 2021 brings. And I'm hoping, you know, maybe one day she'll see me and maybe I'll get on her PR. That's one of my 2021 goals because like I said, I really like her products. I've been a fan for a while. <laughs> And I would definitely really like everything that she's been doing this year. She's very inspirational too. Very, very inspirational. And I actually, I've been watching her Insta stories a lot. And I know she just went on vacation. And how I think she sat her people that were, I think, working, manufacturing something like that on vacation for helping her and getting everything out. And, you know, I think that's just amazing. And it's amazing as a CEO and owner and all that to be able to do that for the people you work for you that work for you and I think it's amazing that she does that because not a lot of companies do that not a lot of CEO or brand owners or whoever not a lot of that happens and to see that happen is extraordinary so it says congratulations foodie you are the recipient of the glam light golden ticket which gives you exclusive access to the ultimate chocolate experience in this box you will find the most I don't know and delicious chocolate treats ever welcome to the glam light chocolate factory and then it's got her name Giselle on the bottom so 
first off, like I said, packaging was literally like A1 and I was so excited to especially get the palette. We're gonna reveal the palette first. So here's the palette, super, super cute. I'm sorry about my lights. It's kind of the only like big lighting I have in here and this is my setup right now. So it is a chocolate donut, super duper cute. Everything's on the back. And you open it up just like her other little packaging that so she has for her palettes. And I'll throw that down there. Again, super, super cute. I love how, like, it's presented. I love the little sprinkle details that she has on here. And then you open it up. And I love how it says chocolate donut right here. And then it's got the beautiful colors. Like, look at how stunning these are. And it's even got a highlighter. Like, mmm hand it doesn't smell bad either you know how some products from um some brands have like a chemical-y smell this doesn't it just smells like the packaging that's all so it's not something that you know you're gonna get a headache over which is great because we've all been there we've all had products from different brands that have smelled really heavily with chemicals and then you get a headache so that's not good this doesn't this smells completely normal so um we're gonna do a few swatches so first off we're gonna do the chocolate glaze which is this highlighter shade in the middle and we're gonna put her stunning look at that stunning and then we're gonna do sweet tooth which is this beautiful gold shade Look at how beautiful these swatch and how pigmented they are. We can do white chocolate. Like, look how stunning. And we're gonna do Boston cream, which is in the front right here. And then we'll do two mattes. We'll do double chocolate. So gorgeous. And we'll do eclair. Stunning, stunning. So that is the palette, which we will be getting to test that very shortly. Um, she also included, I want to say there's three, three lashes, which I'm a lash whore. Literally now, I don't know what, where I came into it, but I remember the beginning of this year, I really, this is off topic. I really started to get into lashes. I never knew how to really apply them very well. You know, I had always tried them before. I remember when I was younger and like prom, I had wore a pair, but they bothered my eyes. They were like cheap dollar wet and wild at the time, or I think. I don't even know if they were even applied correctly anyways, but anyways, besides the point. I remember earlier this year, the first pair of lashes that I've tried were by Kiss. And then I started getting into the Ioni Cosmetics from Dollar Tree. So then I started to like get a like hand on of how to apply them or how to apply them that's best for me, that's quick and easy and efficient. And then I all of a sudden really got into them. And I actually, the, the one pair of lashes that I really, really like, aside from Glam Light, is Violet Voss. Like this is completely off topic, but I really, really like Violet Voss's lashes because I feel like her lashes fit my eye shape perfectly and I don't ever really have to trim them. Sometimes the ends, but very rarely. But with Glam Light, I like hers as well. And the first pair of lashes I tried from hers were in the holiday food we box that I recently tried in my other video, which I will leave that down in the description if you guys want to check that out. But you know, it was very, very minimal that I had to trim. They're very easy to apply, just as easy as the Violet Voss lashes. So I'm really, really happy that she included lashes in this foodie box because I love lashes and I really like her lashes and I wanted to try more. So we have these ones right here that are the donut lashes. So cute. I love her packaging like I've already stated. These are beautiful. I don't want the little thing to fall out. Beautiful, dramatic, just what I like. I probably will have to trim these hair, but we'll have to see. I'm not going to use those today. I'm going to use something a little bit more on the down low. This is a Choco Lash. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love how, like, she always has, like, the little foodie, like, packaging on every little, like, thing that she does. I think it's adorable. 
I mean, obviously, like, what else would it be if she didn't? <laughs> then she has a chocolate candy bar lashes. Literally looks like a box of chocolate, which I think is so cute. And I'm just going to open this up just to look at these. Oh, these are really cute. I'll probably use these today. They're kind of a little bit still dramatic, but they're not too dramatic, if that makes sense. They're more on the subtle side. She also included two lippies, which is amazing. We have the s'mores, which I can't wait to try and smell. I believe this is a lip gloss. And then we have the hot chocolate. So let's take the hot chocolate out. Again, I love her like packaging that she does for the entire thing. This is gorgeous. I love like the rose gold color that she has for her packaging on these. Mmm, it smells just like hot chocolate. Now I'm gonna swatch it. We'll do swatches in the end. Because I don't want to get my hands sticky. So there's that one and here's s'mores. Gorgeous. Look at how pretty that is. Chocolatey and it must smell like s'mores like it's got to. Mmm, smells like chocolate. That's what that looks like. Stunning. Stunning. And then the last product that she had in here was, this is something new that she was doing, was the highlighter and contour palette. I'm hoping this works for my skin tone. I'm not 100% sure, but if it doesn't, I'll pass it along to someone else. But I love how she did this packaging. Like, it's a graham cracker. It's so cute. The detailing and everything on here is literally, like, you look like you're looking at an actual graham cracker. And then you open her up, and this is what it looks like in the inside. So, yeah. I think the bronzer might work. I'm hoping it does. But anyways, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started. I'm going to do one eye on camera, one eye off camera, like per usual. And then at the end, we'll have our final thoughts. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my usual, my e.l.f. camo concealer. And I'm just looking in the mirror in front of me. If you guys ever see me doing that, that's all I'm doing. I'm going to use my brush. So how is everybody doing? I wanted to say um, Happy New Year's Eve. Because that is when this video is going to be up. What is everybody's plans? Does anybody have any plans? I mean, I know you really can't still do anything because of this virus that's going on and I really don't blame you. But is anybody, you know, grabbing a bottle of wine and like kicking it watching Netflix to watch? I don't know really, they're doing some type of virtual thing for it, but I'm gonna use the leftover powder I have on this to set my eyes. But I don't really know exactly how it's going to work. I know there was an app that you could download for the bald drop for New York City. Like a virtual thing. But, you know, like I said, I don't know how that's really going to work. Because it was more, like, animated. I don't know if they're still going to have, like, everything at Times Square for it. And just, like, record it on TV. So, you know, people can watch it at home. I really don't know. I mean, it would be nice because I would definitely like to see that, <laughs> but you know, hopefully 2021 will be better and I'm hoping, you know, everything goes back to somewhat normal at some point, but we won't get into that because we are here for makeup and happy thoughts and cheerfulness and everything in between. So how is everybody doing though? How was everybody's Christmas? Mine was bomb. I actually planned on doing a Christmas, what I got for Christmas, like little video, but I got so much that I'm not going, to, I like, I put everything away already. So, you know, by the time I thought of that, everything's already put away and I'm like, do I really want to go through everything again? And just to like put it back away. So I was like, yeah, probably not. Okay. So, and then we're going to start with double chocolate. Because I'm going to kind of do... 
sort of a cut crease, half cut crease, something like that. Very pigmented, very pigmented. And I'm just, right now I'm just stamping this on the outer corner. I've actually, I used to do, when I used to do like smoky type of eyes or really anything, I used to like start in the inner corner and do all that. Well, now I've been doing it on like the outer corner, like the darkest shade that I'm going to be using and then like blending it. So I feel like that works a lot better. And all I'm doing now is blending. I'm gonna get my other brush to blend. So I'm a little bit more dense. Stunning. so beautiful like literally I'm gonna take one more brush all right we're gonna go back in with that same brush or anything we have left on it. So I'm going to dip into Chocolicious now and go like right here in the inner middle. I almost said middle corner, or yeah. And I'm gonna go back in with my brush and I'm gonna dip into Sweet Filling, which is more like this terracotta shade. And I'm gonna use it to like blend out the edges a little bit more. Just look how stunning that is. So now I'm going to go in with, I'm not sure exactly what shade I wanna do. I kinda wanna use the chocolate glazed, like this highlighter shade in the middle. I mean, look at how stunning that is. And I kind of want to use the white chocolate to like put in the middle. Just to kind of blend everything together. It's so gorgeous. And now we're gonna go and do under the eyes. I think I'm actually going to wing that out of hair after. I'm gonna do actually the under the eyes ah, off camera I think because what I usually do is I like kind of go under with like a cotton pad and like wing it out a little bit just to even it up so I'm gonna do that off camera and I will be right back to do the face and or to do the face products and the lip products and I'm gonna pop on some lashes as well so I'll be right back hi guys I'm back so this is the finished product I just put on some blush and some foundation and I just want to make sure that that is lined up. Okay. So, um, I used the chocolate bar, chocolate candy bar lashes and I just trimmed them a little bit and they're cute. They were really easy to put on. So now let us start with this. Now I'm going to start with a little bit. And I'm going to go in with the chocolate bronzer, 
looks pretty pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna use a bigger brush. Now that I know I'm not going to shoot myself with the foot. I definitely think this could work on light skin tones. It's gorgeous. Perfect. It is really pretty. Gorgeous. I can imagine how much prettier it's going to look when I'm actually tan in the summer. Um, okay. So we're going to do highlighting now. I want to try the gold, the graham cracker. So let's, oops. Sorry. <laughs> Pray to the gods. Okay, that could work, but that's, wow. We gotta turn her down. That's stunning, though. We'll fix her a little bit more. There. Put on her brow bone. Gorgeous. Blend it in a little bit more. Sorry. Oops. Alright, so let's try a little bit of the middle one, the marshmallows. Stunning. I keep thinking it's crooked, but it's not. Stunning! So, I'm very pleased that this works for fair skin, too. I'm excited. So let's see, which one do we want? Kind of want to go with the darker shade. And I'm going to use my go to BFF ColourPop lip liner. Beautiful. It smells so good too. So, final thoughts. Love the lippies. I'm not sure. I think it's a gloss. So that's what it feels like. They're gorgeous. They smell amazing. Pigmented AF. The lashes, beautiful. I love all the different styles. Their versatility she put into this was amazing. Um, I really like this. I'm really glad it works for my skin tone too. And I can imagine how beautiful it's going to look on every skin tone. And I'm very excited to keep using this and I can't wait till the summertime to use it as well. Um, I love the donut. I think it's so cute. I love all of her packaging and the hard work she put into this. And you could tell all the thought that she put into it. 
and so yeah i love everything per usual thank you guys for watching i'm sorry it took so long i hope you like today's look and i give you guys a little bit of a closer look and the highlighter everything i love everything in this entire box um i'm not sure if she has everything individually still on her site but if she does i will put that up in the description box below the links for everything because i believe this is sold out but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye